All right, welcome back, everybody. We're back to Mr. Driller, this time with Game Save, and we're going to see what else that gives us. Yes. I can't wait. So the first thing it gives us, the most important thing, really, that Game Save gives us, we've got a Starlight Race now that's actually worth looking at. Oh. Or uh, Starlight Parade. Oh, I wish I could remember how this menu works. <laughs> Yes. This would be a challenge and it's on its own. I'm really hoping I didn't just delete my save. Oh, I don't think I did. <laughs> That's a... Uh... I'm good. <laughs> All right, good. Yay. So this is the parade, which is a feature more games should have. Where you just sit there and watch a parade happen. <laughs> And all these little bouncing guys at the bottom of the parade um, are characters that I populated in from the Game Boy Advance game. If oh, I, wow. If I hadn't done that, they would have just been more of the little blue guys are called undergrounders. <laughs> uh, and you can hit A and it blows a whistle. <laughs> Another feature that should exist in more games. And blowing a whistle makes these guys... Uh, do a roll. <laughs> this is wonderful. And you can uh, rotate the stick and speed things up. <laughs> but not like dramatically. <laughs> Just like a little. I like not, they're not perfectly synced as yeah. you watch. Just a little bit offset. <laughs> yep. There's Making them do flips. There's such a sense of wonder <laughs> that these are the we villains don't... of the game. <laughs> That's who just scrolled by. Participating in the parade, of course. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. And that's... They try and space, like, the, the scary monster-themed bacteria. Like, the, are all here with Horror Night House. Oh, the yeah. little mummies. And now the... we got cute guys again. Oh, so that's a different <laughs> area of drill land that we're going to show off. This is the best. It's just... I just want to settle into this game after a long day. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, Trilland 2002. Yay! I just like I love it. I also try to imagine having the time and budget to yeah. put features like this into a game. That's how, and, and how an does annual this series get... too. Yeah, like, this is coming out on Assassin's Creed time. Yep. How... <laughs> but like, is this? I mean, this is late enough in the history of, the, like, the arc of game development history where features like that aren't so... It's not common for that to just be one guy who's like, you know what, I'll stay in late tonight and make this weird thing and show it to everybody right. in the morning. That's that's a lot of work. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you have to actually... Like, producers had to schedule time. Yeah. It's bizarre. They, and they prioritized it. So I've got access to level two now. Ooh. Uh, and I have... Uh, Usagi as a playable character. Oh, okay. So, and you said he plays way different. He plays way different. So, I'm gonna drill once, and you're gonna notice the blocks diagonal from me also take a hit. Ooh. Uh, he is super, super fast. And he can jump up heights of two. Whoa. So, alright, so how is this counterbalanced? Um, or is it? He's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> to use because um, comboing happens less ab above you because you're just you're you're not leaving oh, a narrow I well. Interesting. So um, it's just a tactical difference of like having to be aware yeah, of what plays, else you're... he plays very differently. Like if he weren't destroying three blocks, that yellow would have caught on something, ah, uh, and I would have been safe. So destroying more blocks is actually dangerous for you. Yeah, because it doesn't give you your uh, your safety that you normally get. Interesting. But you can also do super weird stuff like that. Whoa. Because he can destroy diagonally, so you can get underneath a thing you wouldn't normally be able to get under. So somebody who's able to think like four or five moves ahead on this could just yeah. wreak, wreak havoc with this character. Yeah, he's, he's very, very powerful and more than a little bit scary to use. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Try and go for some distance. You'll notice I jumped up to a 1,000 meter goal because we were doing oh, so well with our very achievable 500 <laughs> meter. <laughs> so you, you got down there so fast that they decided you're ready. Oh no, I, I picked a higher difficulty. <laughs> oh, okay. <for> us. 
I have no idea what's going on above me, and I'm not going to wait. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Out. You're good. Oh, what's this? Oh, crystal blocks. They just vanish after a few seconds. Oh, okay. So there's just like a time delay in your strategy, basically? Yep. Okay. So you you can look at them and go, oh, is a thing going to happen? What's going to matter from this thing? Ah, uh, I see. I got a nice little pattern there that let me just Ooh, like, nice. drop safely for a while. What must it be like to work on a game like this? I have like, no idea. And it's so, it's got to be interesting at this point because core mechanics weren't changing anymore in this franchise. Yeah. You know, they were, they were adding all the variants, which are great. It's true. I guess that does explain why they would be go, going about adding so much more content and just stuff because the core game is the same thing. And not in the way that it is with like an Assassin's Creed where people right. are like, they're making the same thing over again. You know, they're, they re-answer a lot of questions in an Assassin's Creed game. They, they do, yeah. Every year. Uh, this game is delightful. It's just delightful it's in general. Delightful is a fantastic word for it. It's just a cheerful, happy thing. It is. Is it, as a designer, is there anything that you have like taken from this? Like any lessons? Just that man. It's a really good question. Um, uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, one of the many things is that this is a great example because I've talked to people about who have played this who have gone. You know, this is so simple, I'm surprised this isn't an older game. It's this very simple sort of arcade mechanic of going down wells, and one of the things that needs to be pointed out is like, this is actually a really technically intense game relative to like what a Super Nintendo could have done. That's a lot of sprites on your screen. Yeah, that's actually true. They all need to animate, they all need to be accounted for. You need a decent amount of memory just to know where all these sprites are because it's keeping things active even when they're not on screen. Yeah, yeah, tracking them while they're off screen even is a big, like, big deal. Yeah, so it it's surprising how often a very simple idea to be pulled off correctly actually requires a shocking amount <laughs> of technology. It, it is very, very easy to underestimate how complex it is to create and, like, engineer some yeah. of these really simple, casual, quote unquote, experiences. Absolutely, yeah. It looks this again. Like I said, this looks like a very simple. It's it's all bright colors. Uh, the it's, art style is this very flat graphic. Yeah, art style, and it kind of like lulls you into being like, oh, this is a simple game. Yeah, you you could if you didn't actually think about it much, you could just assume, yeah, like you could throw this together at a game jam, and there you go. But no, that like uh, you could throw together. Uh, throw together a version of it, I'm sure. Yeah. It wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> it wouldn't, like, work quite right. We're also, uh, we are now at a difficulty level where the game actually changes the song as you're playing, so we just Ooh. switched to the song that we, it's the same song we were listening to before we started playing this difficulty, <laughs> but oh, no. I really like this song, so I'm okay with that. And game over. <laughs> but I beat 500 meters. <laughs> yeah, that's good. If only that was the goal. Uh, I'm going to show off a few of the other modes in the game. I would love to see some of these other modes. All right, so we have... There's so much content, it, it would feel wrong to not explore some of this. Uh, we can come over to... So Star Driller is the one that's closest to what we were playing. Okay. Uh, it's basically the same game, plus random power-ups happening. Oh, interesting. Um, so that one's fun. I'm going to show off one of the, some of the weirder ones okay. first. <laughs> the weirder ones. Just more different from okay. the base gameplay. All right, Trendy Adventure. So, no character select here because it's def by default. So one of the things it's, it's teaching you right away, the multi-hit things yeah. don't do don't hurt you in this mode. Oh, okay. They're just a thing to be aware of. There are Interesting. pieces that so never stay. fall. Okay, but you can use. Um, this I'm gonna do a kind of silly and risky thing to demonstrate right now. <laughs> when those fall, they don't just stop. Oh. Until they smash themselves to pieces. That is neat. And I don't have oxygen in this mode. I have health. Interesting. So this is this is more like slow and measured. Yes. Oh no. Oh, I thought I could drill up faster than that thing would hit me. It, it's cool with how with such a simple set of base mechanics just how like small changes to how they work can and like completely change the game you're playing 
I am looking for a fixed number of those gold statues. Oh, cool. And I've missed a couple of them so far, <laughs> which is not great. There we go, so... I'll be able to get this one, assuming these things don't combo apart too severely. Yeah. Nothing chases me. Nice. It's fine. But this is part of taking out the oxygen thing, and this one is clearly a... Okay, we're going to make this a more thoughtful and strategic mode. Yeah, which... Changes a lot. I definitely wasn't thinking at all when I played. <laughs> I was just down left, right, down left. Big, yeah. big shapes. Hit the big shapes. So let's see here. Down 184. Seven gold. One life remaining. Nice. Nice. And, we got and here's the easy stage. I like it. Which are a little bit uh, different here because this one doesn't have uh, stuff comboing above you. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is part of the strategic element of it. But the relaxation stages still give you gold options, which is nice. Yeah. It amazes me how, like, even as someone who is follows games pretty closely <laughs> and pays a lot of attention to the gaming scene, that there are still so many experiences like this. And I know there are many, many, many more that I that are completely off of my radar. Right. There's so many games. There are so many games. It's kind of Ridiculous. <laughs> it's true. Oh, we got a music change. Oh, nice. Especially, like, with the floodgates opening on Steam in the last few years. It's incredible, yeah. Just daily. Oh, and this this level introduces uh, traps. Traps? Well, it's okay, so... You see oh, those guys? so you gotta hit it from above? So I believe... Oh, you gotta bait it. And then it's tricky because it'll keep coming out. It's uh, not it's not Spelunky style where you, if once you've popped the trap, you're good. So this is I can do this. Yeah. Okay. Down. 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 Yes. That was incredibly Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's again, that's the same fundamental core mechanic, and they just tweaked a couple little bits. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, the oh, that's, rock. That's my last one. Ah. <laughs> So that's Drindy Adventure. That's awesome. I'm hoping to actually beat one of the modes that we play. <laughs> Alright, so what's our next destination? So now we will stop by Horror Night House. Which, the first time you play this mode, you get a whole intro with Ataru wearing a cape and being very mysterious. <laughs> so right. Those two boxes are explaining all the mechanics that uh, I can't read. <laughs> so. Uh, so, this one you absolutely aren't doing height. This one I actually remember. So okay. what I want to do is get this guy close enough to me that I can get him. Inject oh. holy water into the into the blocks. You're a ghostbuster. And then he will turn into a crystal, and two of them beats that floor. Oh, that's this cool. This floor requires three crystals. If I break a block that one ghost is in uh, without having it injected with holy water, all the ghosts on the screen, which right now is not that many, but becomes a serious issue pretty rapidly. That was a sucky injection. <laughs> uh, rush me and deal a bunch of damage. Ooh. And this is another one where I have uh, HP rather than... Yep. Oh no! There's my damages. The ghosts! But I got some health. Hey, nice, not okay. Not too bad. Yeah, it's amazing the variety they're getting out of this set of mechanics here. It's great. Nice. Got my three Dristles, because everything in this game has to have a dir in front of it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, yeah, I love the rich lore that <laughs> they are packing into this <laughs> little yeah. experience. Like, I said that similar sarcastically, but that, then I actually thought about it and realized it is actually enriching this experience. <laughs> I'm more delighted by it being here. Again, yeah, it's not... It's such an odd game. <laughs> nice. So I took some damage from that block following me. This is gonna be easy. Nice, just one more. One more Dristle and you're in business. Alright, I got this one. Yes! Yes! Alright, there we go. Woo! This has Victory. my favorite windscreen. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so great. I had forgotten about it until Brightest was coming up. I was like, oh yeah. 
何回やっても面白いねさあ次は何をやるわ I don't know why a cutscene's playing. I have no idea what I accomplished that made it want to play the cutscene. <laughs>、um, at some point in playing the game, you get a boss fight in the middle section that is, as yet, like at where that、uh, fountain is, there's no way to、uh, go back to it, which is a shame because it's a really neat mode where you've got the, the supervillain guy above you in a giant width, screen width drill. Doing pressure, so you have to maintain really,、oh. really high speed as you're dropping. Interesting. Because he's pushing down on you. That's a cool idea for a boss fight. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be rough. Oh, yeah? yeah. Difficulty wise?、Um, well, just me not speaking Japanese wise. <laughs> I see. Oh, this is the store, like the、uh, item. This is the one where there's going to be items and there's going to be,、uh, like, we've got a map. Oh.、Uh, which is telling me that there's a, a door. Somewhere around the midway、wow. plane, off to the right, there will be a door. They've puzzle quested this. Yes. Got Dree Stones, which I don't have any of.、Uh, so, a lot of the mechanics in this are a little bit closer to what you're used to. Okay.、Um, these are five hits and they take a bunch of your health.、Uh, one of the big differences is this one is basically the, the strategy mode that a lot of games would have, where each time I hit something, there's one HP. Oh. Is that green potion down there going to refill it? Or is that something、uh, else? That green potion will refill my HP, yes. This is even more so than that other mode. This is the maybe you should move slow and play smart <laughs> mode. And here's an enemy. Oh no! Oh, I got squished killing that enemy. <laughs> Not great. And it hits you. So I've got an HP 20. So, okay, I mean, let me open my, my Dree Stones.、Um, <laughs> oh no. Or at least a couple of them are easy. Yes, these are HP increase. This one, I think, either turns yellow stones red or destroys all yellow stones. Okay. And this one either turns green stones blue or destroys all blue stones. <laughs> or maybe, no, this one maybe makes blue stones? Green stones? Something like、There's、that. A big question mark on this. It does something to green. <laughs> okay. okay. I want to take this door. So, is depth the goal on this one as well?、Uh, yes and no. There's a, there's a boss somewhere、oh. that I'm going to have to find.、Um, and you can see sometimes the stones are hidden until I reveal、Ooh. them.、Uh, there we go. Oh, and the, the color of enemies.、Um, oh, is that important as well? Matters too. Because when I do a. So this, this, I think, will be a destroy all red. Okay. It's going to damage the red enemy as well. Oh, nice. And it did! Yeah! Alright. What a neat idea. Yeah, it's. I can just picture some, I'd like, just. Designer being tasked with figuring out how does combat work in this. I feel like every designer who was at all experienced, she went, I got an idea. They were like, cool, you lead up a small team <laughs> that makes your version of how this game works. Our map, and, this, and part of the reason I, I want it out there is that that map clearly didn't have an opening at the bottom. Oh, I see. So you could work your way all the way to the bottom and then、yeah. just be done. And there will be at the bottom, I believe there would have been a yellow drill stone,、uh, which、uh, would warp me back to the start. Okay. So we got a green wizard. Sadly, oh man, he's not cool. I don't, I don't like the stuff he's doing. At least he's not super durable. Yeah.、But、yeah, that's a lot of, of rocks. I, I, I'm assuming those are rocks. Yeah. The stones. Oh no. Oh no, Anna. <laughs> Oof. 33%. And I'm gonna pause. And this is, of course, the only mode you can do this in and be like, get some HP. And you can see I missed a door because、Ooh. I wasn't paying enough attention. That's okay. This one has an exit down at the bottom. That's good. There you go. No. Woo! That was close. No. Oh no! <laughs> <sighs> 
still. A bunch so of crystals. So that just takes like 20% HP when you die, though. Yeah. Okay. So you don't lose a life, which is good because this mode's... It looks really hard, actually. It is. Is that a 1 HP percent yeah. <laughs> item they gave you? It's a 10% there. Go on, Mr. Driller. There we go. Some, Some epic health. music. Yeah. You got the brass and everything. Whoa. Oh gosh. A dragon guarding a key. <laughs> I feel bad, he's really he's, pretty cute. He seems pretty chill and he's just kinda locked up here, so like I believe he's calling down blocks on me. Oh. Or it broke some like made some disappear. Which I guess would call down blocks. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, that is dangerous. And remember, it's, it's, anytime I break a block, that's an HP. Oh, yeah. This does feel morally questionable. Real Shadow of the Colossus vibe. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't feel good. No. <laughs> so I have the key now. I wonder which one of these is warped back to the top of this room. <laughs> we'll find out. Is it that one? Nope. Nope. You're a gave bubble. gave me a bubble, which is cool. <laughs> Bubbles are good. And a mask? Um, I'm not sure what that did. At least you got health, though. Maybe this is the warp one? Yes. Hey, good. So let's warp back to the top of this room. You're navigating this quite well for not being able to read anything. I have I have a solid memory of things like I just so the thing I just remembered there was uh, any blue thing that doesn't have a color on it. Yeah. Um, is the warp. Okay. Uh, green enemies will give you health, that kind of thing. So there's stuff that I can even without being able to read Japanese, I can kind of like okay. Green crystals, I need those. You can find the pattern. Yeah. Okay, so there's your door. Yep. yep, yep. Oop. Yeah, okay. Alright. I'm gonna let some chaos happen in here. Whoa. Because apparently stuff was going down before we even walked <laughs> into this room. Yeah. Whoa. Alright, so. Okay, serious time. Not, I thought doing destroy yellow hurt. No, I hurt them by dropping blocks on them. Oh. So I want to do uh, turn stuff yellow. And then do destroy yellow. Nice. And That's now clever. We'll drop stuff on them and then actually before I do any of this. I'm going to do turn things red. Because I've got a lot of red still. Nice. And then destroy red. Yes. He's got a green aura now, so I'm going to do turn things green. And then destroy green. It's a shame they couldn't find a way to use some of your other buttons available to uh, make that item selection thing a little faster. It's true. It's kind of having that early Mega Man game problem of power switching. Yes. Now he's blue. Oh boy. Uh, he's not on blue though. Mm. Here we go. There it is. Now I can do destroy blue. Yes. Yeah! Got him! Victory! All right. What do we got here? Oh. We have the hero of the game wearing a dress, <laughs> chained up in a basement. <laughs> I, love I really this game. love that in 2002 they were like, yeah, we'll put our male hero in a dress in a basement. <laughs> I love this. It's a great way to end the level. You win. Yeah. That's so awesome. That is a whole of Juraga. Which is just a incredibly but like it's so weird. You've played you saw the regular Mr. Driller. Yeah. The, this game is like rich with content. Oh, like you said, like it's like all the designers were given like come up with your idea and then go <laughs> make a game. Go make a game. So I'm gonna have you give Star Driller a shot. Okay, I'm gonna give Star Driller a shot here. Here we go. So this is you'll be playing as uh 
as Hori, when you're not sure what to hit, just keep hitting A. Okay. So those guys in the background yeah. with the triangles in their chest, they're from Star Trigon. <laughs> okay. Which is just like a game that never went anywhere and no one's heard of. <laughs> but they're here. They're alive here. Yep. Okay. Space. Yep. All right. So, so same oxygen. Yep. So you have the, sa the standard oxygen rules. All right. X's look a little different in this world, right? But you're you're pretty much what you expect here. Good start. We're okay. This All is right. super common. It takes so long usually for Mr. Jolie to really settle with people. Whoa! So you got one of the few bad ones. And it gave me lots of rocks. Okay. Yeah, that throws a bunch of rocks at you. It can, in like super specific moments. <laughs> I the, thought I was safe. A bunch of rocks can can work out. Uh. But most of the time, you don't, you're not excited about it. There's a bunch of good stuff that can do for you, I promise. <laughs> if you want to try and get some more question blocks. I want to see what happens. And... Oh, oh you got uh, your maximum air now is 105. Hey, 100. sweet. That is nice. Ah. And that's a permanent boost. They, they don't take that back or anything. That's awesome. Whoop, get out of there. Whoop, get out of there. Whoop, get yep, just straight get, down and you're safe. Get, get out of everything. <laughs> straight down from here. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, no. no. Not straight down enough. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. That was not my best work. Here we go. Clean slate. All right. Down. One of the things that's a little bit sad is that given that all the new Driller games just use uh, the art assets from this one, yeah, they only use the stuff from World Tour. They never set a scene in space or anything. Aw. That is a shame. Like, if you're just gonna keep reusing the art, like, can you at least <laughs> <laughs> reuse all of it? <laughs> so Ooh, you got a shield? This? A shield! And it's gone now. Okay. okay. <laughs> well. But you didn't die just that's then. That's true. It was nice while I had it. I get out of there. Oh, nicely Ooh, done. Oh, boy. That was rough. Doing okay. Doing good. So, since you're not currently distracted by things, sure. what's, uh, how long have you been a designer? Uh, how long have I been a designer? I've been a designer for four years now. All right. Nice. Um, and I had a very uh, accelerated course where uh, one of the first games I was working on uh, it was a live game that had been around for a while and the lead was going to move off to do something else. Uh, and I had written a bunch of the game. I'd, I'd written a lot of the dialogue and been involved in story stuff. Uh, and he asked me, you know, uh, to take over as sort of the, the lead on content. Okay. Um, with, with everyone understanding, this is an older game, it's not going to be around a ton longer, we'll be sunsetting this at some point, this sure. is a reasonable place to send a new guy to get his feet wet. Um, and so it was me on content, another guy on systems, and we did that for about eight months. And then uh, the guy who was on systems wound up moving off, and I wound up just taking over lead of the whole game because at that point I was the person on the title who'd been there the longest. Uh, and so I was the, the sole lead on the game, uh, which then went on to run for several more years <laughs> as like a not amazing success. It was not a million dollar a day game. Sure. But it was a million dollar a month game. That's. That's no, still not bad. Uh, so, especially for our first gig, and and the fact that like they had given me that thinking it was going to go away, and I kept it alive instead, led to uh, rapidly increased responsibility and authority. Sure, because <laughs> I was very lucky to be given a really great opportunity right off the bat, and then also I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a speed boost right now. Oh, nice. Whoa, and I'm doing incredibly well apparently. Yeah, you're doing really well. Get you, get you. I, I may be on the easy stage <laughs> level here. You are. One of the nice things, the, the patterns and stuff change a little bit as you increase the difficulty. But for the most part, the distant, the, the 1,000 is hard because it's hard to drill all the way down to 1,000. <laughs> like it's, they will give you harder patterns. It's not just that, but they don't go out of their way to be like, oh, you're playing brutally hard mode. Whoa. So you have slow dropping blocks. Oh no. Which 
is past now, but you had it. <laughs> and as have I. So, uh, this game is a delight in general. I, I said it before, and I, I still, yeah, I still feel the same. It's just an incredibly fun, happy game. Uh, I don't know, like, I, like we were saying, it, it feels really good. It's pleasant to play, and it's clearly something that the people who worked on it were really passionate about. This was fun. Ooh. Thank you for thank you for showing me this. Absolutely. Is, is there anything of yours that uh, you would like to plug as long as we're here? Oh man, as long as we're here, uh, Stage of Decay Two will be out at some point. <laughs> that that'll work. I'm not. We can't say anything about release dates. That's. I have so little public work right now. I did a lot more stuff, and then you know, when you have a job that uh, asks of you creatively, it becomes really easy to. Put off your personal projects. <laughs> I understand completely. State of the K2. <laughs> it's more exciting. Coming, coming soonish. Yep. <laughs> as soon as we can. <laughs> oh, thank you again for showing me this. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We'll have to have you over again soon. Cool. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.